Crossroads in uh, Tennysville, Florida. Getting ready a little bit before the shuttle launch. It's a little bit close to 8 o'clock ish. Uh, that should tell you exactly what the time is because I'm drawing blank. And so uh, I'm here with everybody from here. So we'll go around the table and say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. It's a video blog. Oh. <laughs> hi. So, all you guys are on Twitter, right? We all love space. Yes. Yes. We're all going to see the special launch tonight. Yes. Awesome. You could all tell that we're from Twitter. And we're just geeks in general. And we got people taking pictures of people taking pictures and people tweeting at the same time. You know right away that you're with a group of uh, techies. How soon is that picture going to be on Twitter? <laughs> Remember one of the earlier episodes I was thanking somebody, by the way, for a bunch of stickers, Mark Ratterman and uh, George Mitchell's wife Mary, who's also a really, really nice lady, the two of them. Uh, finally got to meet them, and actually right now, uh, Mark is talking with my parents. I'm scared to find out what they're talking about. It's so cool, I actually just met uh, the family of one of the astronauts, so... Uh, Terry Virts was the pilot for STS 130, and uh, it was really cool. What he ended up getting me was a crew picture, his family at least, his mom, uh, the real nice lady. Yeah, her. the two of us meeting. But what he ended up giving us here was uh, a couple of things. One is this picture here, crew picture. Uh, another actually is a wristband. Now this wristband, uh, the cousin and the mother both took them off their hands and actually gave it to us, which was really nice of them. Uh, they also got me an STS-130 sticker and patch and an STS-130 pin, which was really cool. And uh, to quote them, as we said before, go Endeavor. By the way, also, uh, that wristband, uh, on the wristband it says STS-130 pilot Terry Burtz and Psalm 19-1. Let's just say no, Psalm 19-1 says. The heavens are recounting in the honor of God, and the work of his hands the expanse is declaring. Alright, so at this point now, uh, it's 10.35 here tonight, or uh, to put it in NASA terms, 22.35. And as you can see, I have a TV right behind me, I'm showing Endeavor, right on the pad. And I'm here to go see it more at the Space Center. He's got it in, checked in and everything. And this is where the dream is. Yeah. This is the whole big deal. This is everything, right here. I'll keep you updated as things go along. Hi, welcome at the NASA van. Welcome to Kennedy Space Center. We're so glad you're here tonight for launch. It's going to be beautiful just because of you. Thank you. I can't wait. <laughs> Our suitcase is from the visit. So far, this, this is a coin commemorating the 40th anniversary of Apollo. Wow. And then this, because you're all about your computer, it's it's a three gig uh, drive that you get. It's a shuttle flash it's drive? A yeah, oh, exactly. My so it docks with your computer. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, use it well. Thank you so much. That's you're great. You're welcome. That's that it. Is so so Show us. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I just met astronaut John McBride. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate it. I, just as I was walking up, I heard Nick talk about the rendezvous and why it was and, such a uh, short yeah. period. I helped develop all these procedures that we're using to rendezvous and like join with the space station. And the reason yeah, we have such a short window is because this space really station goes around the Earth every 90 guys. minutes. It's Great person. That means it's traveling at almost 18 
thousand uh, came over to miles the per hour. Her. That's how a much every second. That's about five miles uh, every second. Did, and, it's, and I have to end up just so right behind this really, space really station cool. as my engine right. shut off. And I'm in orbit this evening, so this is I can't so miss amazing. it by very so far because if I miss yes, it a I'm minute, five miles times 60 seconds is 300 miles. So I can't be too far off. So that's why you'll hear we have to be completely ready to take out seven minutes. And that is a real task uh, to get the folks out of the seats to be seen and all the gear that they're going to get all the connections to the modelers. These guys are incredibly well trained. They spend a lot of time back there at KSC. They do, uh, they do full exercises with the water going uh, so that you can see if there's a room visibility and fall that yellow brick road we were talking about before. So uh, these guys take their job seriously. They do an incredible job. Uh, they're almost always on time. They get it done right every time. They make sure everything's set to go. They get the hatch closed on time. Everything checked. And they take great pride in what they do. Okay, at this point, I'm keeping my fingers crossed because uh, I just got an update uh, from Twitter that at this point, lunch is only 30% go uh, because of low cloud cover. And if I'm correct, the problem with the low cloud cover is not for launch. And a lot of people say, well, airplane can fly through it. Why can't shuttle? From what I can tell, it's that it's not a problem with uh, launch. It's if they need to make an emergency landing uh, back at the Kennedy Space Center or uh, something along those lines that can cause a problem for them. Also, uh, the other issue, if they go tomorrow, the weather is 60% go, which is much better. The only problem is uh, the shuttle also has what's called TAL, or Transatlantic Abort Landing Sites, uh, in case there's a problem as it goes up in orbit. Uh, and they have to, they can't get back to the Kennedy Space Center, they can land in France or Spain. Uh, the only problem is all of the landing sites for tomorrow looks like there may be weather concerns at those. And if the weather's not good at those sites, then the shuttle can't launch even if the weather's perfect here in Florida. So, really concerned because Tuesday there's another launch which Endeavor is going to have to stand down for and let the other one go first. So, uh, just keep my fingers crossed that STS-130 goes off and all of us here are just hoping, hoping, hoping. Okay, at this point, uh, unfortunately we're heading back because uh, they called the weather quote-unquote too dynamic. By that they mean it kept changing from go to no-go to go to no-go because of clouds. Uh, the cover was too low. So, at this point, the launch was scrubbed for tonight, so look forward to tomorrow's vlog. It's tomorrow, 4.19, uh, Monday night, technically, 4.19 a.m. Eastern Standard Time is the next launch attempt of Endeavor. I'll be back for it and keep my fingers crossed. Till then, last off, everybody.